I'm not much of a handyman, but as any other uh, middle-aged male, I do find myself tinkering and uh, gluing odds and bits together, fixing stuff, or at least what do maintenance work to them. Case in point, car batteries and charging them. So here it is, uh, the ultimate speed uh, charger, battery, car battery charger from Lidl. This is a rather uh, good looking device. It's sleek and really, it's not much of a review though. I would like to show you uh, its benefits. Uh, most of all, it's light. Everybody who sees it for the first time, at least in my country, are surprised at, at how small and light and compact it is. For example, this is what a classic battery, car battery charger looks in my country. And this also is a fairly small one. Uh, imagine, if you will, a slightly bigger uh, carrying type device. So uh, yeah, this is a car battery charger in my country. Though the ultimate speed, I would say, is a rather compact and interesting design. Uh, it works well for smaller batteries, so don't expect it to uh, charge up uh, larger ones. So I think the limit is about, uh, I don't know if you can see here, but it says 0 8 to 5 amps per hour well any at any rate i'm not really good at this <laughs> so sorry about the lack of professionalism what i can say from my own experience i've been using this thing for about three years for car batteries and well i don't have problems charging up or topping up topping off batteries up to 75 uh, amps hour capacity um, this is also designed for use uh, in motorbike applications though i don't own a motorbike so yeah i don't own a quad atv stuff like that and neither do i have a, a, a gasoline operated lawnmower or other uh, light, medium or heavy um, tools that require uh, charging up the batteries. Let me show you how it works. These are the clamps which you put on the battery. Um, yeah, not much of a presentation again. But anyway, I think it's important to show you what it can do. So let me just get a plug. So as you can see now it shows zero voltage because it's not connected to anything but as I do have a spare battery I shall get it right now and here it is sorry if it's messy it just came off a car well you just connect the old plus to plus and minus to minus um, red is plus black is minus always and then you are able to check out the battery and this one seems to be discharged so let's see you can select it's easy to use you can select motorbike for whatever reason this should be six volts i believe so we're going to skip that go straight to car you can already see it shows the voltage and it's starting to go through its charging cycles. It's already showing 13.3 volts, which is okay for this battery. This is a spare one. It's not in perfect condition. I just use it to charge up, to start up a, a car if I need to. So if it's anything below 12.5 volts when not charging, I think that's a bad uh, battery. Don't take my word on it. You can also select to charge it with a snowflake, meaning you can charge it in bad weather. And that actually charges up the battery quicker, so you have more power during winter. 
I don't know if that's recommended for the battery or not. I haven't had problems, though I will not advise you to use this charging method other than winter. Than in winter, because right now it's summer. Uh, I don't have any problems with it, but don't, well, don't do this at home if you're not feeling comfortable. I will not warrant as to the result. Also, you can, well, that's all you can select really. There's three modes. There's the power uh, LED and well, I guess this one indicates if you uh, connected the pins uh, incorrectly. One thing to note about this charger, it's a smart charger, meaning it, it kind of reads what the amps or whatever the battery gives out so it's able to go through the cycles more correctly than a classic charger like this one though there is a caveat when the battery is almost dead this one will not work so you need to uh, switch to a classic uh, car battery charger i don't know if that made it any sense i was told this by an more experienced user and well it seems to work like that so anyway this is my little uh, ultimate speed charger this is the writing on the wall as they say it's the writing is in Romanian but anyway there's a classic uh, run-of-the-mill disclaimer uh, obviously don't open it and yeah well that's about it for me i don't know if that's been insightful or entertaining or enlightening maybe but remember i buy quirky obsolete and weird stuff so you don't have to thanks for watching bye bye